video vlog. It is April 25th, 2023. I am sitting at one of my favorite spots at the beach. One of the only worlds I feel like I can just go to. It's quiet, peaceful, and I don't have to worry about my energy being disturbed. The bare minimum. Um, woke up a little later than I wanted to today. That's fine. Shit happens. Okay. Um. It's a lot on my mind and it fucking hurts. A lot of pain stuck in my heart and it fucking hurts. Transparency. Um, I was talking to somebody, and it's only been like a week, so I can't even be mad. <clears throat> but I asked the big girl question. I asked big girl questions. There's no reason for me to assume something. And I got an answer I don't think I expected, but that's okay. That's okay. That's on growth. I can see how... I can definitely feel how my growth has been applied to my life with how I'm able to respond to situations now. I cried a little bit, yeah, because I shit hurt my feelings, but it's not the end of my world, so life will move on as it always does. <laughs> Bro. I sure have my feelings though. At this point in my life, I feel like I'm the only person that gives me the company I desire, but maybe that's just high expectations on people around me. And that's just why I stay alone so much. <laughs> Getting used to... Getting used to my private protection. So whenever... <laughs> life... Goes an unexpected route. I don't feel like I have to cling to people for supportive reasons but maybe that's just too selfless of me because I grew up learning to not need anybody which fucking sucked because manifested into my 20 year old life as if it's like I don't I don't need anybody but it's like it's not true it's not true I really wish I really wish I had so a caring and supportive person next to me just li just to have an ear. You don't need to fix my problems. Just listen to my emotional feelings. Listen to my mental sp my mental ongoing. But it's like I said, I feel like I'm the only one that is capable of doing that. So I just get I'm not stuck, but. It's like almost my last resort is just to talk to myself, which, fine, okay, I'll talk to myself instead because I don't have anyone else to confide in. That's sad. Me saying that out loud made my heart sad because I keep that inside a lot. And that's kind of one of my beliefs in my belief system is that I'm just like one of the only people I can talk to that understands 
friends. Maybe maybe I just don't reach out of my comfort zone enough to reach out to people to have them understand or relate to me and my pain, but that's a me problem. Maintaining my spirit is one of the most difficult things I probably I don't even I will do. I'm looking at myself and she looks so sad. She looks so sad and that hurts me. You wanna know something? Um, life is, so this is one of my choops, but it's not choop, so I can expect a choop. I do understand why I told myself I was going to be single for a while. I think it is probably going to take a couple years to grow and get out there in the world to where I can more easily attract people that are like like-minded or uh, how was I going to say that people that are drawn to my aura people that magnetize my own aura she is light, she is beauty, she is grace. So pick yourself up. You've learned how to do that, Desiree. Pick yourself up. Okay, well that's that's the emotional side of Desiree right now, but it's fine. I'm cool. Honestly, it's fine and I'm cool because there's not a thing fucking stopping me from starting a new day so sitting right here i'm looking forward to tomorrow honestly i'm looking forward to it start a new day and it's like a refresh that's the good thing about life that i do realize you have a shitty day it's like okay try again tomorrow you have a shitty day tomorrow, try again the next day. You can only try. You can only try. You really can. Uh, I got a new job at Starbucks. That's cool. That's cool. I got a new job at Starbucks. I'm a supervisor, which is, I give myself the props for that because I'm, for being only 20 years old. I am 20 years old. And the responsibility that I hold inside my being, let me calm down. The responsibility that I hold inside my being does not even reflect in people that are almost 40 years old around me. It is honestly like. It's what the fuck? What do people do in their lives? Like, just give their life to something, some, like, I couldn't do that. Just constantly giving away your time to other people and not nourishing yourself. Like, yeah. But it's, people are going to do what they're going to do and you're just going to have to radically accept that is what I've learned. One thing I am grateful for is my painful experiences teaches me lessons. And I don't have to learn that shit again. I promise you I got that shit the first time. I'm cool. Um, but yeah, I just had my first day at my big girl job on... What fucking day is it? It's Tuesday today. Yesterday. Wait. Yeah.
yesterday. Yeah, I had my first big job. Wait. It was yesterday because today's my day off. And then I go to work tomorrow. And then I'm not scheduled at my new job until Sunday. So I'll probably honestly pick up shifts at Dunkin' just because... I'm in my grind season until until I get to where I need to be in life and I'm comfortable and suited. She's grinding. She's grinding for sure. She's disciplined. She's consistent. She's staying. Mm, she's somewhat consistent. I keep telling myself every time I buy a fucking vape that it's my last vape I'm buying and then a minor inconvenience happens in my life and it's like eh, no that's not cute that is not cute stick to your fucking goals do what you told yourself you need to do for yourself and mindfully like I said in previous videos, I am looking at myself, screaming at myself. I am not intending to be harsh towards any part of society. I'm looking at Desiree. And if you don't have someone to punch you in the face like I do to myself, I will be that person. I got you. I got you. We got goals to fucking work on. Why are you backtracking in your accomplishments? Why? Does that even make sense to you? To go backwards when you're already 10 step forward? That does not even lo logically make sense. But shit happens in its life, so it does make sense. But it's like, fuck. Really? I can only just try harder. Not even try harder. I am a fucking already a fucking try hard. Like, come on now. I see something I want. I hear something I want, and I'm going to get that. I'm just like that. I think the reality of it is do better, not try harder. Do better for yourself, for you, and. Let yourself be emotional. Let yourself be emotional. You have emotions. That's cool. I fucking cried probably for the last hour now. And then I'm like, you know what? I need to... Instead of just continuing to cry, continuing to thought process things, I need to go sit somewhere and make a little video turn out. Okay, one thing about myself, whenever I do get sad, it's like, okay, I'm looking at myself. Yeah, you look sad, but you're fucking beautiful, dude. You're so fucking beautiful. There's no one out there that looks like you, and that is even more beautiful than already beautiful. You're so unique. You're so special. Don't just allow to give that away to anybody that wants that from you. Don't. That is damaging your own self self worth for real. No. No, I won't allow it. Hitting my vape. Don't be offended. This shit is so nasty to me. But it very much is a fucking outlet that I need to work on. Also, I'm noticing I need to work on my freaking vocabulary because holy, holy crap, I cuss a lot. I really do. There's a lot of swear words that come out of my pretty mouth and that is so de degrading to myself. Speak with integrity. Speak like you own it. Because this is your fucking life. You better. I need to look at myself in the mirror. Just looking at myself on camera, I can't even tell. 
but just know one of my dollar bills she is beautiful she is so beautiful yeah work on your do your goals accomplish your goals and that's that be emotional take ooh, the hair be emotional take care of your mind take care of your body and take care of your spirit because no one else is going to do that for you motherfucker <laughs> no one is going to do it for you and that's the harsh reality of life you have to pick yourself back up you have to pick yourself back up no one is doing that for you Okay, well, I'm gonna vent a little bit just because this is my fucking YouTube and this is my video. And I get to say whatever I want. Okay, I'm gonna talk about the person I had feelings for. I don't think I've ever met someone as similar as me and as someone I can act my authentic self around, which is kind of why I think it hurt a little more. Just because it was so, it hit so close to home. But, okay, in reality, I'm a big girl. I'm a big girl, and I'm going to ask those big girl questions. Because my heart is not just going to get broken because I didn't care for it. I'm, in, I'm going to think smarter and not harder, you know? You know. So I asked the big girl questions, just like, okay, you're not here just to be intimate, right? Mm -mm. you're not here just to be distracted right you're not here just to oh <laughs> my boob itches um today I asked the question are you bored though it seemed very dry and nonchalant. Things definitely uh, were not how it were, was in previous days. So I was just like, are you bored? Um, not that, but other things on my mind. Okay, what's that? Distance. Okay. I've never done it. I am not s comfortable in my comfort zone, though. I'm not just comfortable. I'm willing to try new things. But... And that's not just fully my decision. I was informed that distance hurt this person. So therefore, it was kind of a, okay, this is clearly not it. So let's just pretend that, not like it didn't happen. Let's just pretend that um, we didn't have... No, I can't even pretend like I didn't have feelings for people because that's just so fake. Like, I don't know. Let's just pretend like we didn't get to know each other as well as we did. Kind of. Kind of like a sayonara. That's just gonna hurt. It's okay. It's okay. It was literally a f couple days, but that's my own issues. I need to work on myself clearly a little bit more before. I am fully committed to a healthy, healthy relationship just because those, it, those, uh, I'm pointing at you, those little, uh, attachment issues you got, they've got to go. They've got to go. My mom just texted me about, uh, it kind of sucks because we don't have communicative talks it's purely over text message sometimes i can't even get my emotional point across because it's you're reading a text like you would read it from your own voice so it's like 
What's up? My phone's on 20. It's like 5 o'clock, almost 6. I gotta go to bed at... I wake up at 5 in the morning, so ideally... I should be laying down at 7, going to sleep at 8. <laughs> laying down at 7 o'clock at night and going to sleep at 8 o'clock. Something about that just won't work because two of the days I work at my new job, I'm going to be closing. So I'm going to be at work later than some of the days I'm already in bed, which is very like, um, that sounds very emotion, like mentally exhausting to do all that work just to have it be like not useful at all. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I gotta go to the bathroom. But there's no bathrooms here, so I'm gonna have to wait till I get home to go to the bathroom. Okay. I recommend if you are just as alone as I am, whenever you feel down, go to your favorite fucking spot, pull out your camera and start recording yourself just speaking because i promise you you will probably be most likely spitting facts to yourself i use these and i rewatch them and take in mental notes that i had in the past and use them in my present i'm like dang she really was speaking facts when i feel a little poopy about myself she's smart she's responsible she's authentic she's vulnerable mm. yeah Yeah, hitting my vape. Don't be disrespected by it. Mm. <laughs> Life goes on. I think that's the moral of this video. Life goes on. Shit happens. Just pick yourself back up yourself back up babe you're pretty pretty girl energy you don't have this yeah you, you can have the space to be down for however you want but is it worth it are you ashamed of yourself just because something went bad no no i will not allow that for myself good days in my mind and my future is promised peace prosperity and happiness so therefore i only just have things to look forward to not things to be upset over your mind is so fucking beautiful desiree holy shit this is why i spend most of the time my in my alone time Not everyone has have beautiful minds and that's still okay. Not everyone nourishes your mind like they should be, but that's not on you, that's on them. I nourish my mind, my body, and my spirit, so therefore I'm taken care of. I turn 21 and... It's April 25th, May, June, July, August. So four months right there. Four months and nine plus about four months and 16 days. She'll be 21. She'll be 21 years old. Holy shit. I remember when I was 16 years old. I feel like. Oh, well. Little babies growing up, you know, how you see like your peers, and it's like, Oh, you're just a kid. That's how I feel about myself. Oh, you're just a baby, and now you gotta be a big girl. 
with big girl feelings. It's one of those rainy days too, so I can't even, I can't be upset too much. I cannot. Rainy days are never promised happy days ever, and I've realized that. Something about rainy days, I just feel off. It's like almost mournful. Feel my pain body extending from my body, my aura. So that means I'm not attached to it if I feel it. It's presence. If you sit with your presence of your pain for long enough, it will heal itself, really. I realized that doing mindful work, meditative work, you know, the hard work of spirituality and growing and learning and prospering i have realized that not everyone really starts this journey at a young age so it kind of just it's going to benefit me obviously but dang Where's my people's at? Who can I confide in? Maybe that's just my trust issues speak for themselves. Thanks. Thanks, Dad, for the lack of trust. And thanks, Mom, for the lack of security. Ah, thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, you hear that? That's radical acceptance. You have to be okay with something that you're obviously not fucking okay with for it to be okay. Does that make sense? That sounds like a, uh... Dang, my counselor just told me that. Wait, that sounds like a... It starts with an M, a mark... No. I'm not gonna be able to just remember that. That's okay. Bad bitch all around. You are beautiful as fuck. It's okay if you don't have a partner to share this experience and this life with. Maybe. Or this part of your life with. Maybe you gotta grow a little more to get to that one desired person that will manifest for you in the best way. But in the meantime, patience is key. Patience, discipline, this, ah, all that. You gotta be patient. I'm still speaking to myself. I really am. This is my self-talk. All right, well, yeah, that was a lot of self-talk today. It's been almost 30 minutes. Um... I'm gonna get home, shower, get ready for bed, dinner, pack my lunch, pick out my outfit for tomorrow, and I got work at 5 in the I work at 7 in the morning, but I wake up at 5 in the morning so I can still do my little, my morning routine. This is what it consists of so far. I wake up as soon as I wake up. I wrote down my dream note. What did I dream about that night so I can come to terms with what my subconscious is speaking to me? write my dream note then i read a, a chapter of a book that i'm reading after that i'll do my daily morning affirmations right after that i'll get up make my bed and then i do yoga and then i exercise and then i will go on with getting ready for my day so washing my face brushing my teeth doing my hair getting dressed you know the little deodorant Use deodorant. Use deodorant. If you got to the point where you're using aluminum-free deodorant and you don't even need aluminum-free deodorant anymore because you are 
detoxified your body, you don't need deodorant. Spray on your favorite perfume or something like that. Put on your little jewelries. Divine. She is feminine. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you.